Jeff Ware currently sitting second in the point standings coming into tonight's competition here at Boone County Raceway. Ryan Feynman having the points lead coming into tonight with a 12-point advantage. Of course, Jeff Ware sitting eighth in the nation coming into this weekend. Of course, he's your points leader over at the US 30 Speedway and Eagle Raceway as well. Few Eagle competitors around him to his outside. Albert Keeney, a weekly competitor at Eagle Raceway. We are green in Hobby Stock Heat number one. And how about it? Three wide off a two for that fourth spot. Not wasting any time getting into the mix. 22 hobby stocks here tonight, and they're about ready to put on a show for you. Off of four, Jeff Ware going to lead lap one. Tell you what, Albert Kinney not letting him pull away in that 85 machine. Back for third, it's Rosberg and Hobel Heinrich battling for third, fourth, and fifth. And here comes the 56, Nate Buck. They'll go door to door for that fourth spot and fifth spot. Brian Harms, Dylan Reichs, and Nick Langan routing out your order. Oh, Hobel Heinrich pushed up top. Buck will try to avoid contact. That'll bunch those two together with Brian Harms in the 48 machine trying to close in on the battle. Rosberg up to third. Now Buck in fourth. Hobel Heinrich with a new scheme here tonight. All white. A look for the 74 machine. Up front, top two cars have absolutely checked out of the rest of the field. Jeff Ware has opened up a nice little advantage over Albert Keaty. Your leader's off of two. Meanwhile, here we go. Three wide battle back for that fifth spot. Here comes the 23R of Dylan Reichs. He'll come to life here midway point of heat race number one. He'll catfish the bottom side, and he'll pick up the spot from Creighton Hobel Heinrich. So put the 23R, who started eighth, now up into the top five. So a nice run for Dylan Reichs. Up front, Jeff Ware really starting to pull away with the advantage in this one. Over Albert Keeney. I believe this is the first time we've seen Albert here at Boone County Raceway over a 1.1 second lead, over a second lead for Jeff Ware. Now the battle for third starting to close. Here comes Nate Buck and Joe Rosberg. The battle for third starting to weigh John. Meanwhile, of course, the 48 of Harms and Hobel Heinrich in the 74. That's a battle outside the top five. Once again, Jeff Ware with two to go. We'll take him off at turn number two. Once again, opening up over a second advantage over Albert Keeney. Once again, Nate Buck starting to close on that 3J. Joe Rosberg, that's the battle for third and fourth. White flag is out. Scoop up on the flag stand. Give him a little one to go signal. Jeff Ware knows the way around this speedway. Your back-to-back -back track champion. Trying to begin some points on Ryan Feynman here tonight in the points chase on the season. And it looks like he'll set up nicely for the feature tonight. Your winner, Jeff Ware. Albert Keeney will come home second. Joe Rosberg third. Nate Buck fourth. And Dylan Reichs will round out your top five. The battle continuing. Hobel Heinrich, Langan, and Harms will round out your order. But picking up the heat race win, hailing from Columbus, Nebraska in the 83, that's Jeff Ware. Inside, run number two from North Fork in the 3K, that's Christy Rosberg. And to her outside, your current points leader in the three from Albion, that's Ryan Feynman. Inside, row number three in the 52 from Neely, that's Jason Wilkinson into his outside. First year in a hobby stock, the 55 from Creston, that's Austin Brood. Jay Posnecker in the 20P from Ames will round out your order. Jason Wilkinson, last night's winner at the US 30 Speedway, currently sitting seventh in the point, standing, or point standings in the nation coming into tonight's racing. Also is your current off-road Speedway points leader. As we said, Ryan Feynman coming to tonight already with two feature wins. He is your current points leader coming into this evening's competition. Green flag is out. We are racing. Field works through one and two, three wide for the lead off of two. Travis Cooper will jump out to the advantage. Ryan Feynman will work into the second spot. Travis Landauer third. Here comes Jason Wilkinson on the move early. The 52 up to fourth. Good battle for fifth, but up front once again, Travis Cooper, your leader. We got one ramping over the bottom berm. Doing a little off-roading is Rosberg, Christy Rosberg, trying to get that thing straightened back out. She'll do so. We stay clean and green. Travis Coover and Ryan Feynman, top two, going at it up front for the lead. Here comes Feynman, trying the diamond move off of four. Half a car length lead for Coover as they work into one and two. Coover working the top side of the speedway. Feynman right through the middle. 
Meanwhile, Jason Wilkins in the battle for third starting heat up. We've got two really good battles going on right now as Jason Wilkinson all over the 45. Meanwhile, the race for the lead, it is still Cooper with the advantage as they work through one and two. Door to door off a of two. Cooper with a three one hundredths of a second lead that last time by. We go two by two for your top four spots with lap traffic. Christy Rosberg right in front of your leaders. Ryan Feynman will grab the lead, the three machine up to the point. Travis Cooper trying to work back around him. Feynman now to the top spot. The top two pulling away. Jason Wilkinson has made the pass on Travis Landauer for third. So the 52 up to third, Landauer fourth. And now Jay Posnecker up into the top five. So Jay Posnecker in the 20P in the top five. Then it's Brood and Rosberg rounding out your order. We'll come to the two to go sign this time by. Tell you what, Ryan Feynman, after he got into some clean air, he is looking good up front, starting to pull a few car links on that 7-11 to Travis Cooper. Two to go up on the flag stand. As once again, Feynman working the top line. Nine tenths of a second lead. He has opened up now the battle for fourth, starting to wage. Here comes Posnecker looking to the inside of Landauer. Landauer first year in a hobby stock in quite a few years. Posnecker first trip of the season here at Boone County Raceway. White flag is out for your leader. Three hits of a mile to go. Feynman will work the top side off of two. Nice smooth race for that three machine. He'll work into three and four for the final time in heat number two. Picking up the heat race win. Your current points leader, Ryan Feynman. Travis Cooper will come home second. Jason Wilkinson third. And Jay Posnecker will hold on for the fourth spot. Landauer fifth, Brun, and Rosberg will round out your order. But picking up the heat race win in the three machine from Albion, that's Ryan Feyman. We've got 22 hobby stocks, 21 topless late models. So once again, if you like uh, the free preview here on Facebook, Make sure you head on over to AdvantageRacing.tv. Get subscribed. You can watch the rest of tonight's racing action. They've got a whole lot more racing coming up here the next few nights on the Independence Day weekend. Set to go green in your third and final Hobby Stock Heat Race. As they work through one and two, Mark Arduzer, Johnny on the spot in this one. He'll grab the early lead. Zach Olmstead working into second of the 98Z. Meanwhile, a battle for third heating up between Jay Colson and Jordan Euling. And now off of four of the 98Z trying to hunt down the four. As now we're going to go three wide. Parker Fulbright trying to come to life for the battle for third. Top two have pulled away for the rest of the field. You've got two really good battles going on. The battle for the lead and the battle for third. Colson and Euling and Volbright going at it. Now here comes Olmstead off of four. Half a car length lead for the four of our dudes are going into one. Both of these drivers already with feature wins this year in weekly competition. It's Olmstead with the advantage off of two. So far the top side's the place to be in this one, but the Overton native trying to get things to roll on the bottom side that time by. I believe it is still Arduzer at the line. Your advantage up front. Olmstead off of two. Meanwhile, Parker Volbright on the move. Started seventh up to third in the 12X. How about Parker? Up front once again, Arduzer leading the way. I tell you what, I think this one's going to come down to the final lap. Olmstead not letting him run away with it. Volbright back in third, Euling in fourth with a little bit of a puff of smoke in the back end of that 58J machine. Zwiegerd, and then once again, it is Colson and the 83J machine of Jeff Ohm rounding out your order. Now here we go in the battle for the lead through one and two, and Olmstead will take the advantage. Makes the pass on our doozer. As we come to the two to go side this time by two to go up front for the 98Z of Zach Olmstead. Long trip over here from Overton, Nebraska to be with us here tonight. Of course, avid person of your hobby stocks and draw, redraw will do that. Mark Arduzer in second, still right there within striking distance. Vaubright, Euling, and Zwinger rounding out your top five. White flag is out one more time around for Olmstead. 
Tell you what, this track's starting to widen out, and as we get this thing cleaned off, we're going to have some fantastic feature racing later on tonight. But through three and four for the final time, heat race number three of your wild things goes to 98C. It's Zach Olmstead. Our doozer will come home second. Von Bright from seventh to third. Ewing in fourth. Zwiegerd will round out your top five. Then it's Colson and Ohm rounding out your order. But picking up the heat race win started sixth on the grid in the 98Z from Overton. That is Zach Olmstead.